What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday, and I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on, y'all? Now, before we get into today's mess, let me let you guys know something. Now, tomorrow is the Whether You Like It or Not Summer House Martha's Vineyard Edition panel, and it will be over on Busy Blues platform. So make sure you guys go ahead and support Busy, Darren, Sakina, T, and L. Teddy, okay? The link is already available, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and go into the Whether You Like It or Not panel playlist on my channel and go all the way down to the bottom, and then you will see it. So make sure you guys do that, all right? So with that being said, that's pretty much all that we got for the church announcement, so we're about to go ahead and get into the mess. Now, we have two things to talk about today, and it's all in regards to the RHOP casting, honey. So we're going to start off with the very first one, and that is involving Miss Kiana Stewart. Now we, do, now, we did report a couple of days ago that Kiana was not returning to the Real Housewives of Potomac in any capacity. But at this particular point, we we heard something new. Now, according to TV Deets, okay, this came out on Friday, honey. And it says that Kiana Stewart snags a last minute RHOP season nine contract, okay? Now ask and you shall receive. Kiana Stewart will be returning to Real Housewives of Potomac after all, sources tell TV Deets exclusively. Now, while it was initially thought that season eight friend of Wendy Osefos would not be back, multiple insiders confirmed that she received the contract in the days following my last exclusive. Interesting. As previously reported, Ashley Darby, Giselle, Brian, Mia Thornton, Karen Huger, and Wendy Osefo are all returning Turning as full-time housewives with filming starting next week. All right. Now we see DJ Richie Sky. Uh, shout out to him. He says, Yes, yeah, she's a breath of fresh air. Now I'm re 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 um re <laughs> energized. I'm sorry. Um Reality Chat says, one thing about TV Deets, they're going to have the damn tea, all right? Beautiful Shayna, she says, um, period, the best news, they finally got something right, all right? Now, here's the thing. Now, I love it. I'm so glad that they decided to bring Kiana back. I felt like she was a breath of fresh air. She made, she showed us who she was, okay? That's number one. Number two, I felt like um, she was a good addition to the show and i feel like if they was going to get rid of people they could have given her a flute because she showed she had potential first of all she's not afraid to speak her mind she got some hands okay and um uh, you know she's a she's a genuinely good person and a good person to hang with in my opinion so she's fun and i want and i want to see more fun on this show this show has been very dark for quite some time now and we need some lighthearted drama, lighthearted fun. And I think that she would give you that. Now, she's a nice girls, girls, party girl, whatever you want to call it. But at the same point in time, if she need to get your ass together, she's going to get that ass together. And we need somebody like that on that show. So I am so glad that Kierna Stewart is coming back. All right. And I am very, very excited. All right. So the next thing up, not only is Kiana returning, but they said that we got a brand new housewife that's coming into the fold as well, okay? And this lady is goes by the name of Stacy Rush. I think that's how you pronounce her name, Rush, okay? Now, let's get into her wig, okay? And she looks beautiful, by the way. Um, Stacy is joining the Real Housewives of Potomac Season 9 as a full-time housewife. Multiple sources tell TVDs exclusively, honey. Now... According to my rock solid sources, Stacy may be well known to some Potomac viewers as the longtime host of her own dedicated hour on QVC. In addition to her work on QVC, Stacy has appeared as a reporter and a host on Fox 5's Morning News and Good Day DC, and as an anchor and reporter on ABC 7's Good Morning Washington. Before entering the world of TV, Stacy was known as a health and wellness expert, practicing yoga in over 35 countries while teaching for such high profile agencies as as the White House Athletic Center, American Aniver uh, University, and NASA, according to her official website. In local circles, Stacey is known as a bit of a D.C. socialite, sitting on the boards of many charities and helping to raise money for different causes. One of the foundations that she has worked with is the is Felicia's Fund, is where she met current housewife Karen Huger, who will reportedly be introducing her to the rest of the group. As previously reported, Ashley, Giselle, Mia, Karen, and Wendy, and Kiana Stewart are all returning and filming starting next week all right and that's pretty much it and i feel like she is something that we need for the show not only is she a pretty girl and um and all that other good stuff and she's actually married but she has a extensive you know um 
resume. You know, she's known in D.C. You know, um, most people that's from the D.C. area would know exactly who she is and what she brings. So it'll be very interesting. And on top of that, you know, her and Karen kind of know each other. So Karen is the right person to usher her in the group. Now, I don't know her personality. I would have to go and look at some videos to see what her personality is actually given. But look at her. I wouldn't be surprised if Giselle would try to fuck with her. You know what I mean? And look, I love it. Like I, I love the fact that they're really trying to re-energize this cast because after this past season, how terrible it fucking was, we need some new things. Now, I don't know if they're going to get another housewife because this was the only, this past season was the only time I seen Potomac have eight housewives, honey. Eight. And it still didn't do nothing. So we're going to see what this one is going to give. But like I said, I am too excited about Keanu returning. That gives me hope for the next season. And then we got a new woman on here who's um a bit of a socialite. She's in a, um, she's done charities, you know, she's been on TV already. So she knows what this shit is giving. So I'm really here for this. Okay. I just want to know what y'all got to say. Are y'all happy about Kiana returning to the show as a full-time housewife? Are y'all happy about that? And are y'all excited about what this new lady is going to bring to the show? Cause I, for one, am very excited about that. So that's pretty much it. That's all that I got on that. So before we get up out of here, let me let you guys know that Tramiel and Rico with a K, they got a brand new record coming out and it's called the Everything Remix and it's available right now for pre-order. So make sure you guys go ahead and pick it up and they perform this song tonight at the Boss Baby Awards and I cannot wait to see it. Carl, aka K Star, got a brand new single out called Cock, Gobble and Honey and it's now available on iTunes and everywhere else. So make sure you guys go and pick it up in last but certainly not least. Bando Kane has a brand new record out called The Nasty Remix featuring Tay G London the Blonde and the Hood Hosen is also available now. Make sure you guys support um, Tramiel, Carl, and Bendo. All three are independent artists doing their thing. And not to mention all three mean the world to me, with two of them being my friends and one being um, a beautiful surprise. <laughs> all right. So with that being said, you guys, this is your boy Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boy is up out here. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. And I will leave you guys with the promo from King Darius Books. Bye. What's up, everyone? It is Darius asking you to check out my newest children's book, DJ Stands on Business. Follow along as five friends who are entrepreneurs by the name of Pixel, Raven, a dynamic duo we can learn, and a children's book author named DJ use their entrepreneurial spirit to save money to go on a trip to Mexico. So follow along as children can learn about terms that teach them about entrepreneurship and give them the opportunity to open up the world in the adventures of friendship, and entrepreneurship. You can check out my children's book, DJ Stands on Business, as well as DJ's favorite day and Twinkle Little Star at www.kingdariusbooks.com.